Morning, everybody. Yeah. Did you know it's Friday? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who knew? You guys have an early release today, too? Yeah. I am here to tell you you're going to be here all day, because I've got a really long speech for you. <laughs> As part of the Desire to Inspire program, Congressman Joseph Kennedy spoke to the students at Hopkinton Middle School. He talked about his experience running the Boston Marathon. You see people that you've never met who are feeling the exact same way that you are in that moment. Excited, anxious, competitive, yet pulling for each other. Men and women, young and old, dads and daughters, mothers and sons, runners from every corner of the country and the globe. Except for Meb, because he was probably already crossing the finish line. <laughs> Everyone there, no matter where they came from or how fast they were going to run, knew what that race meant for our state and for the city of Boston. And then you hear that starting gun, and you're off in the most grueling, most memorable experience for a few hours in your life. You descend through Ashland and flatten out in Framingham and Natick, and step after step, mile after mile, people who you have never met are out there cheering for you, the guy to your left and the girl to your right. And after what feels like forever, you reach the halfway point in Wellesley. It is coincidentally the first large group of extraordinarily enthusiastic college students out there to greet you. A few miles after that, you're looking up towards the peak of Heartbreak Hill, which at that point is less of a hill and more like an asphalt version of Mount Everest. <laughs> and when you think there's absolutely no way you can make it, no way you can take another step, there's a runner by your side, a spectator on the sidewalk, who tells you that they know you can. It was at that point that I realized that this wasn't actually the individual sport it's often made out to be. Yes, the race is about you and the course. Did you put in the work or did you fake it? But when I was tapped out, when I couldn't take another step, someone I had never met was there to lift me up and push me on. For the last six miles of that race, it was those runners and those fans on the sidelines who carried me through, and thousands of others too. Congressman Kennedy then took questions from the audience. Did you feel that because you were a Kennedy that you had to be part of like, Congress or something <laughs> like that? Hope, great question. Um, one that I get all the time. Um, so, um, my Look, I grew up around politics. My dad was uh, a congressman, too, um, served about 12 years in, in office. Um, and I've had other family members that I think some of you know um, had, have served in political office as well. Uh, when I was considering actually running for office, um, it wasn't something that I was sure I wanted to do. I was interested in it. I'd been brought up in it. But I didn't think I needed to necessarily do that at that point in my life. I just changed jobs. I was about to get engaged to my wife. There was other stuff going on. Um, I remember having a conversation with my dad, and many, many folks think that my family pushed me into that job. If anything, it was exactly the opposite. Um, my uh, dad and I had a, a conversation, and he made it um, very clear to me that unless this was something that I wanted to do, I really should not do it. We we would like to present this class of 2022 sh shirt to you because you're larger than life to us. <laughs> Come on over there. You got it. <laughs> 